we want to use differentials to approximate the cube root of 25.5. When using differentials, we're actually using the change in y of a tangent line to approximate the change in y of an actual function. So because we're trying to approximate the cube root of 25.5, our function is going to be the cube root function. which we know we can write as x to the power of one-third. And before we do this, let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening graphically. In red, we have the graph of the cube root function in the first quadrant. And we're trying to approximate the function value at x equals 25.5, as we see right here. But 25.5 is not a convenient value to sub into the cube root function. But notice how 27 is, and it's very close to 25.5. So we can use an x value of 27, determine the tangent line at x equals 27, and then use the change in y of this blue tangent line to make an approximation about the function value at x equals 25.5. But since we're using x equals 27, we're going to have to let delta x, or differential x, representing the change in x, be negative 1.5. Now the reason we're using negative 1.5 is because 27 plus negative 1.5 will give us an x value of 25.5. So let's go back to the previous screen and set this up. So again, the idea here is we want to make an approximation for f of 25.5. To do this, we're going to let x equal 27 and let delta x equal negative 1.5. And to make this approximation, we're going to evaluate the function at the convenient value of 27, but then we're going to add the change in y along the tangent line, which is differential y, which is equal to f prime of x times dx. So we're going to add f prime of 27 times dx, which is negative 1.5. So notice to do this, we're going to have to determine the derivative of the given function. So let's go ahead and do that now. f prime of x is going to be equal to 1 third times x to the negative 2 thirds, which we can write as 1 all over 3 times x to the 2 thirds power. Now we have all the information we need to determine this approximation. f of 25.5 is approximately equal to the function evaluated at 27, which is the cube root of 27, plus the derivative evaluated at 27, that'll be 1 all over 3 times 27 to the 2 thirds power times differential x, which is negative 1.5, which I'll write as negative 3 halves, since this is in fraction form. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. It's going to be 3 plus 27 to the 2 thirds. That's the cubit of 27. That's 3 squared. So that'd be 9. And then times 3. This is 1 27th times negative 3 halves. Notice how this simplifies. There's 1 factor of 3 here, and there's 9 factors of 3 here. So we have 3 plus, this is going to be negative 1 18th. So we're going to have 2 and 17 18ths as our approximation for the cube root of 25.5. So notice how we were able to make a good approximation of the cube root of 25.5 without the use of a calculator. Let's go ahead and convert this to a decimal and then we'll compare it to what the calculator would give for this function value. So 2 plus 17 eighteenths. So it's approximately 2.94. Let's see what the calculator gives us for the cubit of 25.5. Press math and then option 4. So notice how our approximation is very good using differentials without the use of a calculator.
So I'm sure you can use this to impress your friends. This is pretty amazing stuff that you probably haven't been able to do before without a calculator. I hope you found this helpful.